So in the great shaking in America, we know one last harvest is coming. And, and we, we've been doing Awaken 2020 three years ago. We had, we had thousands saved. We did another one recently, a smaller one at, at the Mesa Amphitheater. But I know that the greatest harvest is going to come when the great shaking hits America. For now. The past revivals didn't have to be like that. This one has to be. Because the hardness is so hard here. We go to other countries. We go into Argentina. Half the people were getting, in the civic center were getting saved every night. Half the crowd. Thousands. And the next day, three-fourths of the people weren't saved getting saved. Here, it's, it's hard to get that kind of harvest here, except when things shake in America. So I think we have to have, God's going to, in his mercy, he's going to shake us and shake the financial system because Americans mostly rely on their dollar. And when that gets shaken, then they start crying out to God. The, so the shakings have to come. But there's, when, the sh- when the fruit tree gets shaken violently, the fruit just starts falling. And so, like, we were in Israel, right? And Israel's always under warfare, and, and everyone's trying to kill them, and within and without. And people are just jumping in the boat, getting saved. I mean, we're, we're at the Jesus boat. I get off, and these two Arab girls just come up, and this lady from our tour goes, they want to talk to you, because they told them about miracles we see. And they just get saved. They go, okay, yeah, I want Jesus. We never knew it was real. Yeah, and they just get saved. We're doing baptisms, and people are jumping our line to get baptized. We're not even saved. I go, wait a second. It was, it was, is Pedro here? You were there. So and he, he speaks Spanish. So I said, wait, these, he goes, these guys want to get, they're from Colombia. They put the white robes on. They're not with our group. You do, it's just your group you do, you know? Who are these guys? I go, well, I can't just baptize them. I don't know who they are. And I go, he goes, oh, they speak Spanish. I'll ask him. So he goes, yeah, they're not saved. They're Catholic. They're, they're not born again, but they want to be. Well, let's do it. So, so he was helping me baptize everybody. So we pray with them, and then they go, and they're just beaming all happy. Well, I guess you can be baptized now. Like the fish are jumping in the boat. And, and then Pakistan's really hard, right? They're, they're, I mean, life there is not, it's not a place you go on vacation, put it that way. You don't go, I'm just going to spend my vacation in Pakistan. Because I was there, I did the big crusade, and then the next day I was gone. <laughs> Usually you bomb a city, you don't stay in the city, you just bombed. And just hang out. That's what I learned, too. I took off, went to Dubai for a couple days, saw some friends there, and then we came home. So as the shaking, the, one of the gospel signs is the gospels preach to the poor, the Bible says. So the poor are wide open to the gospel. Why? Because they're poor. So I'm praying whatever it takes to bend America's will that America gets harvest, and I believe that's going to be shaking. Are you, are you ready for that? So some Christians are praying, Lord, let everything be perfect. Let the economy not crash. Let the, no, God has to, it doesn't have to happen to you personally. But this foundations of the Egyptian, Babylonian, demonic, mammon system have to be shaken, exposing those behind the scenes, pulling the levers, enriching the corrupt, and keeping everybody poor. That has to be come down. Now, if you don't get out of Babylon, then you might get hit with it. If you get out of Babylon, do what it tells you. You actually might not just be protected, might prosper even more during the crashes. 1929 crash, more millionaires actually were created than ever. People that saw what was coming, either they were on the inside, they knew, or God showed them, they pulled things out, and they did certain things, and it crashed, and the greatest harvest began to hit. Now, people were jumping out of windows, killing themselves, because they put everything on their money, but then guess what? 30s had a revival in America. A lot of people were getting saved. So how many are ready for the harvest? And with it, great shaking.